and welcome to another Honest Review and before we get started on lip plumpers today I just wanted to say thank you because we are approaching a thousand subscribers on the Honest channel and that's absolutely fantastic. To those who haven't subscribed yet please do because we've got a, a summer of trying out every conceivable anti-aging device and treatment that you can think of. We've, we're covering everything from lotions and creams to injectables, heat therapies and laser treatments as well. So lots for you to watch and find out about. So today we're looking at lip plumpers and I'm comparing one of the priciest products on the market in this Dior Lip Maximizer with one of the lower costing products on the market, this Soap & Glory XXL Pillow Plump. And by comparing the two of them, we hope to find out which one is the best value on the market. So let's start with the Dior Lip Maximizer. Now this costs 28 pounds in the UK, 34 US dollars. So it is at the pricier end. I got this as a birthday gift and I have to say, I was absolutely delighted with it because I had never um, tried it before. And um, I noticed immediately that it talked about having collagen as one of the ingredients. And also the packaging said that it plumpened immediately, but then it also had a longer lasting impact on daily use. Now, with the collagen reference, I took that to mean that this would continue to plumpen your lips over time. If you get into the small print though, what it actually means is it has an immediate plumping effect but the over time lasting effect is actually moisturizing the lips thanks to the hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid rather in the ingredients. So I thought that was a little bit misleading. Um, trying it on, I already have some on. There is like most lip plumpers, there is some menthol in this. And the, the idea with these lip plumpers is that the menthol tingles and irritates the lips and that causes the reaction which makes them which plumpens them up or gives them a plumping effect. Now I took a picture before I put this gloss on and after so you can see whether you think there's much of a plumping effect. I have to say I didn't really see it. So for £28, $34 you have to ask yourself is it worth it? Pillow plump is just 10 pounds in the UK or 14 US dollars. So definitely at the lower end of the market. Now, this contains menthol as well, very similar to the Dior product. It's gonna make the lips tingle and give them a plumping effect. Now I have taken again a picture of me before I put this on and after, so you can have a look close up at the effects. I've got to say, that this one being their XXL, they've got a few products in the line here. This is the most tingly and your lips, it hasn't kicked in yet, but your lips actually tingle so much after a couple of minutes that they feel like they're vibrating, they're like buzzing. And that sensation lasts for quite a long time. So I have to say, if it's a night out or something like that, then it's probably worth it because there is a little bit of a plumping effect but to, for day wear, I don't think I could be bothered with that, wearing it at work every day and feeling like my lips were cold and mentally um, for a long time after wear. So that's something that you have to weigh up with the Dior. Uh, the Dior is a lovely, luxurious product, something that will, with only a mild amount of tingling, you could wear all day, every day and keep topping up. This is much more extreme. However, Soap and Glory have other lines and um, the less tingly ones at nine pounds would probably be worth giving a try because that might be more wearable during the day. I've had the pillow plump on for a couple of minutes now and my lips are absolutely buzzing. And I'm thinking, well, if you're on a date, the person that you end up kissing is not gonna forget you in a hurry because you're gonna leave their lips tingling for at least an hour afterwards and probably a little plumper too. So comparing the two finally, I see no reason to splash out 34 US dollars or 28 pounds on a lip volumizer when the products at the lower end of the market do a very similar job, if not better. Yes, you've got to put up with a bit more tingling. Yes, this is an easier wear product, but if it's plumping that you're looking for, the more menthol in it, the better the job. 
Hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. As I said at the start, we're nearly a thousand subscribers and there's so much more to come over the summer. Thanks for watching.